Yo, Jackson, what you doing? I was setting up for the Nightly News. Nightly News? Nightly News is back? Can I be in it? Um, I don't know. You'd have to ask Dr. Pulley. Yo, Dr. Pulley, can I be in it? No. <gasps> Just kidding. You can be in it. Oh, sweet. You know what that means? It's time for a new edition of Your Nightly News. Welcome to the first edition of Nightly News. We have stories about back to school and seniors. I'm Nikolai. And I'm Jackson. It's been a great start of the year. Um, volleyball is doing well. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, band has won a competition. Golf as well, and the cross country team has been winning some meets. Yeah, and how's football going? Um, we're six and zero, number one ranked team in the state. Let's get started with our first story: back to school. I'm here with Jackson and it's back to school time guys so you know what that means time to go check up with some of the teachers so could you give us a small description of the Renaissance Club uh, it was started about 2005 to help promote academics and school spirit thanks um what are the upcoming events for that uh, well recently we just we had a cookout uh, for the club and then and then in October we have an event going on down at the grade school for Halloween where we dress up and give them candy and read books. Could you tell me who are the um, officers for Renaissance this year? Uh, Reese Weber is the president, Blake Brad is the vice president, Rebecca Hudson is the secretary, and Nikolai Perez, yourself, is the treasurer and photographer. It's pretty awesome, it's pretty awesome. Um, I'd like to know, how do you get involved with Renaissance? At the end of the year you apply for the following year. Uh, you um, could you give me a quick description of what Student Council is? Uh, Student Council is a government organization. Um, we also do um, fundraisers and philanthropy um, events for charities. Events? Our biggest upcoming event is Homecoming, which will be the week of September 30th through October 4th, um, culminating with the dance on October 5th, Saturday. Uh, Ms. Martin, who are the officers of the Student Council? Uh, this year's officers are President Hannah Baker, Vice President Alex Carls, Secretary Courtney Breckenridge and Treasurer Andrew Gokenauer. Interesting. And how do you get involved in student council? Uh, each spring, um, students are able to pick up a petition um, that needs to be signed by members of their class and a couple teachers, and then um, it's an election. All right. So, could you give us a small description of the Key Interact Club? Um, the Key Interact Club, the goal is to do service in the wider community. Uh, we might do service projects for the school too, but largely our goal is to do service for um, outside in the community. We're working right now on a project where we uh, haul food for this backpack snack pack organization. And we do things like organize um, gift bags for the veterans on Veterans Day. And we work with fundraisers for St. Jude. We did a fund matching project where we raised some money and the Rotary Club actually matched the money that we raised and we donated $900 to the local um, libraries. And so those are the kinds of activities that we do, just largely activities that will benefit our communities outside. Wow, that is a lot of stuff for the communities. And we are also aware that you are head of the Drama Club. Could you give us a small description of that, please? Um, the Drama Club is just anything involved with uh, the theater in our school. So our goals are we try and do at least two shows per year, a show in the fall that's a play and then a musical in the spring. And the Key Club, will our first real activity that we're going to do is we organize the games for homecoming. So we're in the process of organizing that. So who are the officers of the Key Interact Club? Um, the officers this year are, the president is Rachel Cook, and the vice president is Caroline Piazzi. Zeta Baker is the secretary, and then Reese Weber is the treasurer. Thank you. Um, how do you get involved in these clubs? You just join. 
I mean, uh, for Drama Club, you just have to join and you just have to participate. To join Key Interact Club, it's a $25 dues. But if that's difficult for someone, we have options. See, Ms. Swanson, I have a couple questions for you about one of your groups that you run, the Be The Change group. Could you tell me more about the group? I certainly will. This is my first year that I am uh, been asked to kind of help take over the group with Mrs. Northup. And we are trying to promote a better culture here at the school uh, and help people not just with mental health, but overall just kind of help change the school atmosphere. I like that. I like that. Um, do you guys have any upcoming events, like any major things going on? We do. There's a couple of things we have in the works. We are definitely going to try to take a precedence during um, the anti-bullying week here that's coming up in Fieldcrest in October. Um, I would like to have monthly uh, posters and different things that we're going to focus on. We might actually be partaking in the homecoming parade this year as well, running a bake sale during the fall play and spring musical. We also will continue to have our second annual walk for mental health. That sounds like a lot of fun, honestly. People should be involved in that a little bit more often. Um, talking about being involved, how do you get involved in this club? Well, that's a tricky question. Um, I know that the first time that things started, uh, people were chosen for this. And then the people who are upperclassmen, they get to pick someone that they bring into the group and they help kind of train them throughout the year. So it's just something that we are looking for students who are positive, who want to help make an impact at the school and who are aware that there are mental health issues in our school. Tuning in for the nightly news, this is Jackson and Nikolai. See you next time. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you guys all had a great homecoming weekend. The school year goes by fast, and so did senior year. Haley and Hannah talked to some seniors about their final year. I'm Hannah. And I'm Haley. Today we'll be interviewing a few seniors about senior year. We also interviewed Ms. Bartman and Mr. Gowaki, our senior class sponsors. Morgan, what are your plans after graduation? Uh, finish cosmetology school and then go to a two-year college to be a teacher's aide. What are you going to miss the most about high school? Having fun messing around. What is your best memory from high school? And I fell down the stairs and cousin in front of a teacher. What are your plans for after graduation? Um, I'm probably going to go to a couple years of college and then... <laughs> Get a job, hopefully. <laughs> what extracurricular activities are you in or were involved in? Um, sometimes I do the drama club. I wasn't able to do it for a couple of years, but I'm back in it. And then I do dance. I'm on the high school varsity dance team. Uh, I also do marching band and pep band and concert band. And I'm in Renaissance. What are you going to miss most about high school? Getting to hang out with my friends and be like close to them because we're probably all going to move away from each other. What are your plans for after graduation? Um, I'm planning to go to community college, hopefully ICC, to play volleyball. And then after that, I'd like to transfer to ISU or Northern and major in speech pathology. Hmm. How many groups or extracurricular activities are you part of? Uh, so I do volleyball and cheer. And then I'm in drama, so I do all the plays and musicals. And for clubs, I'm the president of Renaissance, I'm the treasurer of Key Club, and I'm part of the mental health awareness group. How do you feel about senior year? Um, it's happy and sad at the same time. It's really like, you know, you're happy because you, like, you're the top dog of the school, and it's like the last time, everything's your last, so I think you like cherish it more but everything's your last, so it's kind of sad. Like, this is the last volleyball season with all my friends since fifth grade, which is really sad, but I'm really excited to see where life takes me and where it takes all my friends, too. Um, are you ready for graduation, or do you wish you still had a few years? Uh, I'm kind of ready. I think high school is a really good thing, but after a couple years, you kind of are ready to go and see what life has in store for you. And so it's kind of sad to know that a lot of the people in my class I won't see very often, but I think it's going to be a really good thing. So when should seniors start prepping for graduation? Seniors should start prepping as far as graduating as soon as you enter as a freshman because of all the requirements that are needed to get through. How much work actually goes into graduation? The ceremony itself? Like graduation as a whole? A lot of work behind the scenes, a lot of um, preparation and 
making sure that everybody has all their credits done and working with counselors and teachers and knowing that you're ready to go and out into the world of experience. <laughs> yeah, exactly what Mrs. Barman says. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes too though. Like we've already picked our class uh, motto, class flower, class colors. We're picking when we're freshmen, but there's a lot of work that goes into it. How can seniors help with graduation? Do you want to take this, Mr. Clark? I would say so. As far as practice, so graduation practice. Yes, graduation practice. Please be prompt, be on time. Uh, wear your, bring your cap and gown. You don't necessarily be wearing them when you get there, but cap and gown, any of uh, your, um, your stole, your ropes, anything that you would get for honors night, um, just be punctual. Tassel. Because, tassel yes, on your tassel, cap. yes. Uh, because the more punctual you are, the faster we can get out of the hot gym, and you guys can be on your way. And as far as graduation stuff for what seniors can do, you guys, your guys' job is to show up for the ceremony and enjoy the day. Our job is to make sure that it goes flawlessly and short and that we're not in there forever. Um, you guys will order your cap and gown on October 9th. Justin's will be here in the morning. Um, so you guys will get all your order form, which seems a little early, but then We'll get all that taken care of and get all your senior swag and those cap and gowns will be delivered in March or April. Good luck seniors. Have a good year. For the Nightly News, I am Hannah and I'm Haley. Viewer said, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you can miss it. Well, that's our show. We've got volleyball and cheer stories in the works. So we'll see you with another edition of your Nightly News. Nice! Thank <laughs> you.